Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. The concept of life has for many years and centuries been a subject of debate and a subject of concern because it's something that seems to happen to the entire human race. Death is something that seems to have um, a power and a force that looks like it cannot be restrained when it comes upon a person or a family or a territory it seems to just take them and human beings have tried to negotiate with death and they found out that you cannot buy long life you cannot lobby yourself into long life and so that that inevitable reality of this system of death has forced mankind to respond in different ways others through fear others through all kinds of mechanisms and um, particularly for the church it's been a subject of concern is there a formula for long life is there a principle is there some sort of guarantee please pay attention tonight can a man actually make a bold claim about longevity or are we to just walk and hope that someday death will just come and whenever it comes it can take us this has been a great source of confusion in the body of Christ there are those who are of the opinion that um, you know this is what the Bible says and this and that and there are others who have all kinds of stories you know of well-meaning loving believers pastors ministers of the gospel who have died and um, in all kinds of things sicknesses have claimed the lives of people accidents acts of terrorism and so on and so forth and so this the complexity of death is something that in spite of the civilization of mankind and the many centuries of evolution it's a question that has been at the heart of almost everyone what is the guarantee that this may not be my last night what is the guarantee that i can plan for 20 years and successfully execute it this has led many people for instance into being irresponsible because they feel there is no point laboring going to school paying the price getting a job getting married having kids and then dying and leaving people and so on and so forth and others have um, come up with all kinds of formula i can tell you even for ministers of the gospel it's been a difficult subject um, to teach congregations because as a minister of the gospel you are exposed to all the sides of life you have to attend funerals you have to comfort families at the same time um, you will have to be there at baby the birth of new ones dedications marriages 
and all of that so on one side you have your members crying at the transition of one and then on one side they are celebrating the incoming of another on one side there is a divorce happening on another side people are celebrating the bliss of marriage so all of these these extremities make um the work of ministry particularly very difficult hallelujah and we must be able to draw strength from the truth of god's word so tonight as instructed by the lord i want to teach us certain things i want us to discuss on the subject of longevity to give us hope courage and to build faith in us say amen before i start like i said earlier on let me express my heartfelt condolence to many of us who have at one point or the other experienced the demise of a loved one i can tell you this that it is really really very painful there are people who have lost father others mothers others both parents others you know and if i'm to ask every one of us to come and hold the mic and say one or two things many of us may have tear dropping stories tragic memories of things that happened surrounded the death of our loved ones and so on and so forth and um the goal tonight is not to get us emotional the goal tonight is not to um create a lot of questions in our mind and create a platform for debate the goal tonight is an attempt to look from the vista of the word of god and draw up keys to be able to guide us and to show us like a compass that there is a pathway to longevity hallelujah praise the lord psalm 91 verse 16 you are my hiding place you always fill my heart with songs of deliverance whenever i am afraid i will trust in you I will trust in you. Let the weak say I am strong in the strength of the Lord. I will trust in you. Trust in you. So let the weak say, I, I am strong in the strength of the Lord. He is your hand. You always fill your heart with songs of deliverance whenever you are afraid you should trust in him that's what he expects you should trust in him Let the weak say, I am strong in the strength of the Lord. Hallelujah. I want to share a few thoughts. Number one, the first thing I want us to know about. Let's start from Jeremiah 29. Let's start from there. Jeremiah 29. Let's be fast. There are lots of scriptures we're going to look at because I want to establish a few things. Jeremiah 29 verse 11. Are we there? Okay. One to read everyone is projected.
this is the part that I want us to focus on tonight. To give you a what? An expected end. A predictable end. Please listen to me. I know the thoughts that I think towards you, said the Lord. These thoughts that I think towards you, they are thoughts of good. The Bible says, finally, brethren, Philippians chapter 4 verse 8, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are noble, if there be any good report, if there be any virtue and, and any praise, he said, think on these things. And so God is saying, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. He said, they are thoughts of good and not of evil. This is God speaking. And those thoughts are particularly designed to give you an expected end. A predictable end. Not an unexpected end. Not an unpredictable end. This is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. The thoughts that I think towards you are thoughts of good. And not of evil. To bring you to an expected end. Hallelujah. Point number one. The first point I want us to get tonight is that God's desire and plan for us is to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. God's desire and God's plan for us according to scripture is to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Psalm 91 verse 16, please, very quickly. Write down that point and then we'll look at a few scriptures. God's desire and plan is for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Psalm 91 verse 16, please. Everyone read, one, two, read. One more time. This is the Bible. This is the truth of God's word. It says, for with long life, will I give him? Did he say, will I give him? That means there is a satisfaction that comes when a man enjoys longevity. Are you getting blessed? It says, for with long life, Will I satisfy him? And in it, I will show him my salvation. Number two, Exodus chapter 23, verse 26. Please, media, you'll be really fast. You'll help us. There are lots of scriptures to look at. And all of them are important. We're establishing the first point tonight. That it is God's desire and plan for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Exodus 23 verse 26. 23, 26. Hallelujah. Everyone read. The number of thy days I will fulfill. The number of thy days. There is an appointment with long life. There is an appointment from the throne. From eternity before you came. And it says the number of your days, I will fulfill it. So that's the first point I want us to establish tonight. And listen, people, I want you to realize that um, I'm a human being. I understand that many of us are receiving this point with heavy hearts. Because you are comparing this truth of God's word versus the reality that for some of us have happened in recent times and for all of us as a house having to mourn the transition of our dear one but the bible says forever oh lord thy word is settled a believer 
is not just one who has given his heart to the Lord. A believer is one who has submitted to the authority of God's word as the final say. Regardless of your experience, this is what makes you a believer. It's, you are not a believer just because you were born again. You are a believer because you have come to a point where you have chosen willfully to allow the word of God take precedence and become the final authority over your life. Say amen. Do you believe what I'm teaching you? You must realize that you are not just a believer because you got born again and you are going to heaven. You are a believer like a wife who submits to her husband. Even if she does not like the way he's behaving. Even if she does not understand her covenant of marriage, her covenant of being with him will force her to submit sometimes he may beat her he may be a foolish man but she has chosen as a submissive wife that i will submit to his authority and i will bear his son name that's what it means to be a believer to be a believer is not to love god when you can explain things to be a believer is that in the midst of your joy in the midst of your tears in the midst of your clarity in the midst of confusion regardless of what happens in your life the word of god stands irrefutable and unarguable in your life is god speaking to us are we growing as believers this is a very mature teaching tonight if you do not come to a point where you exalt the word of god above your life you will backslide and you will run away from God. That's why we have many atheists today. Many of them were church children. Many of them were folks in Baptist and Presbyterian churches. But their lives were surrounded by so much confusion. And because they think that God has to be boxed to the limitation of their finite minds. After a prolonged period of disappointment. That disappointment builds a mentality and a stronghold that permits the operation of demon spirits and their conclusion is that God is a liar and their conclusion is that the Bible is not true their conclusion is something is wrong there is a deceit somewhere but the Bible says the Lord is gracious and compassionate He's slow to anger rich in love from everlasting to everlasting he says thou art God hallelujah it is God's desire for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest. Do you believe that? Point number two. Make sure you're writing. Point number two. The Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time. The Bible did not hide it from us. It didn't leave it as a secret is clearly stated in the bible that it is possible that although this is the desire it is absolutely possible supported by scripture that a man can die before his time open bracket and write this especially if we do not diligently engage the keys that guarantee long life open bracket and write this especially if we do not diligently engage the keys that guarantee long life this is a very hard teaching for many of us tonight but it will test your love for god the bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time ecclesiastes 7 17 quickly ecclesiastes 7 17 and psalm 55 verse 23 we'll look at those Ecclesiastes 7 17 the Bible also teaches us under this point that the life of a man can be added and can be subtracted not only can the life be cut short the Bible shows us that someone's life can be added to and someone's life can be subtracted 7 17 Ecclesiastes hallelujah Okay, let's just let's just turn while they're trying to help her. Okay. Hallelujah. Go ahead and read everyone. One to read.
Why should thou die before your time? We are still going to revisit this verse. It says, Be not over much wicked, neither be thou foolish. Why should thou what? Die. It's a question. It's just the, the B part I want us to focus on. Why? It's a question. That means it is a possibility that although these are the provisions, the same way God designed for everyone to be prosperous, the Bible says that, um, how did he put it now? It says the proceed of the earth is for the profit in of all. But there are people today who love God and they are still poor. Is that true? There are people today who love God and cannot afford to feed their children. But it does not stop the fact that God is a loving God and he has shown a formula for prosperity. Why should thou die before your time? So the Bible shows us that it is a possibility that a man can die before his time. Psalm 55 verse 23. 55 verse 23. are we there all right go ahead and read everyone those outside we apologize looks like they are not seeing the projection but just follow us very carefully one to read shall bring them down into the pit of destruction bloody and deceitful men shall not live out what half their days they will not even live up to half their days now forget that he's talking about wicked people. I'm just showing you that there is a possibility that life can be added, can be cut short, can be multiplied, can be divided, can be subtracted. This is the infallible word of God. Hallelujah. So although God's desire and plan is for us to live our lives here on earth to the fullest, the Bible shows us clearly that we can die before our time. Point number three. This is a hard one now. Receive grace to receive it. Ready? The Bible re reveals that God is never behind us dying before our time. Write it down. The Bible reveals that God is never Behind us dying before our time. Isaiah 65 verse 20. Hallelujah. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all. For me, death could not hold you down. You are the reason, Lord. You're seated in majesty.
the Bible reveals painfully but truly that God is never behind us dying before our time 65 verse 20 of Isaiah go ahead and read one to read nor an old man that had not what go ahead and read This is the prophet speaking the mind of God to the people of God. He says, there shall be no more infant of days, nor an old man that had not filled his days, for a child shall die a hundred years old. Brothers and sisters, the Bible says, but as many as believed him, he gave them power to become. As many as believed him, he gave them power to become. Hallelujah. One more scripture. Ezekiel 18 verse 32. Ezekiel Shibakata Baroto Go ahead and read. One to read. Stop. For what? One more time. One more time. This is God speaking. One more time. Read on. Do you believe this? Please, listen, 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 listen. I'm a human being. Are you getting me? I understand the reality. I understand the pain. I, I understand the gravity. Are you getting me? Of, of um, you will only need to be a leader to understand what it means to manage tragic issues in families, and this is consistent. I have been to mortuaries, I have prayed for people. We have lost loved ones in far and near, and all kinds of things have happened. But I choose to be a believer. I choose to be a believer. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. I lift my hands in worship as I sing praises to your name. It says, For I have no pleasure in the death of him that dieth. Say it who? Say it prophet Ezekiel. Say it the Lord God. Wherefore as a result of the above, turn yourselves and leave ye. Next point. This is a very serious one and I want us to pay attention to it. Ready? Satan, comma, the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills, and destroys. John 10, 10, please. Satan, the thief, is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills, and destroys. Write this before we look at the scripture in continuation. He has strategies through which he achieves this mission. Satan the thief is identified from scripture as the one who steals, kills and destroys. He has strategies through which he achieves this mission. Continue writing. Topmost among the strategies are sicknesses, suicides, accidents. Write it down.
topmost among these strategies are sicknesses you can write afflictions too suicide accidents these are his most common strategy of attempting to cut short lives these are his most common strategies 95 percent 95 percent of the transitions and the demise of human beings from the earth is as a result of sicknesses and infirmities suicides accidents of all sorts fire all kinds of things destruction john chapter 10 verse 10 the thief cometh not meaning you never see him in a place until there is need for this mission the thief cometh not meaning he has no business coming to a place except to do this to steal and to kill and to destroy but jesus the son of the living god said i am come that ye may have life and that they may have it more abundantly the thief satan there are many names that he's given in the bible he's given the serpent he's given the dragon he's given the thief he's called the accuser of the brethren he's called the adversary he's called the destroyer and satan has a strategy please let me have your attention now satan has a strategy there is a series by the grace of god on angels that we are going to be teaching subsequently and under that series of angels i'm going to be teaching us on the origin of angels and we are going to examine this man or this entity called satan praise the lord i want us to look very carefully in that series There are a few things about Satan we cannot discuss it today but just a teaser do you know now many of you are going to be surprised but do you know that of all wicked spirits Satan is not the most dangerous there are spirits today who are bound in everlasting chain they were deliberately not released because the bible says if they are released even the elect will not stand the question is at what point were they bound and what did they do hallelujah when you begin to read don't turn there the book of ezekiel 28 the bible begins to speak of an ancient king We don't have all that time to talk about the formation and the structure of angels look up many of us think and many of us have been taught that angels were created angels no no the word angel comes from the greek word angelio and it means a messenger let me tell you a few things look up please when ezekiel the prophet was shown this guy called lucifer the Bible begins to talk with him in a similitude of a mortal man that was a king over nations and over kingdoms. Is that true? Is, are, are you a believer? You believe the Bible? Is that true? It raises up a lamentation against a king that ruled over a place called Tyre and says, Thou which subdued nations talked about the making of satan and then he said how that he ruled nations and territories inhabitants in the earth present at that time watch this let me just give you a quick analogy everyone look up this is an academic environment so let me attempt to communicate a few things i think it's important we get this look look at this imagine for instance that there was a student when our daddy prof was a student let's assume right that there was a notorious student at that point do 
during the time of our daddy when he was in school are you getting that point and that notorious criminal had access to the senate please follow me a notorious criminal are you getting what i'm saying and because of that something happened at that time watch this that notorious criminal was banished as a student because of a rebellion that he wanted to have against the university and the vice chancellor are you getting me now because probably he was given the privilege of being an SUG president and so he had some level of dominance over the students are you following what I'm saying now on the strength of that he led a rebellion as at the time he did that daddy was a student are you getting what I'm saying now he is long graduated but that notorious Capone is still lingering around ABU are you getting what I'm saying now after so many decades a new set comes into that same abu are you getting my point point? and then you hear that people there is one notorious criminal that has been here this guy has been here for a long time are you getting what i'm saying he's an illegal occupant he's not a student but he has refused to leave that territory watch out for him he has an advantage of experience because he has watched many sets of students u61 u62 u60 whatever till now you are you or something and they are giving you an advice that you are not the first occupant of abu are you hearing what i'm saying that abu that's why when you measure it you find out that you are young but they tell you abu is 50 years whereas you are just four years are, are you getting my analogy is it making sense to you when he was the student he was not the most notorious student he was just the one that led a rebellion and it became history there are other notorious students cultists that were driven away are you getting what i'm saying but it so happens that this very notorious student is determined to frustrate the council and the agenda of the university now watch this let me tell you something I don't know if this is the right platform to begin to teach us but we'll have that series by the grace of God did you know that angels were once mortal beings are you getting what I'm saying now there was a dispensation that they reigned upon the earth their dispensation ended and the ones who are with Christ have been sent as messengers to help our dispensation. Just like, imagine that Jesus comes now. I hope you know when Jesus comes, our dispensation is ended. But the program of God still proceeds. We do not yet know for sure what are the other agendas. But we know the Bible tells us there is, a, there is an age to come. And there is a power that is left for that age to come and by reason of alignment we can taste of that power what age we do not know the word eternity means the summation of infinite dispensations so I guarantee you we will be the last of mankind as we know in this level of civilization but not the last as far as creation as far as, as advancement as far as habitation and the humanoid species as we know who knows maybe in another dispensation we will be sent to other planets and galaxies according to the wisdom of god if allowed and we will be able to help the inhabitants to live out the purposes of god in that dispensation they will call us angels I will sing of the wonders of your word. I will sing out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your word. And I will forever sing your praise. Now watch this. When we get to heaven, there will not the bible does not record the concept of marriage does not exist again in heaven is that true so if 
in the earth in my earth life for instance this was my wife these were our children when we get to heaven we all become brothers and sisters are you getting what i'm saying we all become brothers and sisters i can appear in another dispensation to help the inhabitants and they can look at me and say wow who is this strange being but they do not know that there was a dispensation that you walk with human life it is this aberration that was that was cornered that brought what people call the mystery of reincarnation this is what some of the fallen angels taught people and taught our forefathers and said forget the people you are seeing now they have been before listen the dispensation before our own there was a tremendous degree of power that was given to them there was nothing called invisible and visible that concept did not exist are you getting my point the dispensations before us you could access the heavens and access the earth now it so happened that our dispensation disobeyed right from the beginning so adam did not stay long for us to see the possibilities that were put in our dispensation we never had the opportunity to see what we could do for instance there was no dispensation that recorded reproduction they recorded rulership and they recorded who knows if adam did not fall and eve would have had the opportunity because he would still would have given birth you understand he would have given birth in his perfected state we would have seen the son of adam a womb that has not been corrupted by the fallen nature that's why in all of the dispensations is only our dispensation that brought jesus the son of the living god to come and die please let's continue that's for another time i'm just trying to show you that the one you call satan lucifer he was once a king in a dispensation hmm. the king of Tyre that ruled upon nations that's the reason why those spirits still walk upon kings today and try to make them build what used to be are you getting me now those spirits together with satan were the brains behind the building of the tower of babel they were attempting to bring back a dispensation to create a rebellion that once was that was why solomon in his wisdom said there is nothing on earth that is happening the first time you are good and your mercy is forever hallelujah you are good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. geography today geography they have found castles thousands of meters under the earth they have found ancient castles did you know that there was a dispensation where where we are standing now was water not land the same way that place where is the mount of ararat where the the ark of noah rested where is it in the earth today we know everest to be the highest where is mount ararat where are the golds where is the temple of solomon that was built with pure gold you mean everything disappeared that we cannot even find dust of gold let me tell you most of them are still intact they are buried in the sea because the judgment that led the word darkness covering the earth is the hebrew word tohu wa bohu is the word that connotes darkness and confusion right in the beginning god created the heavens and the earth that beginning we do not know but then we know that something happened and then the earth was dark and void formless it was the judgment are you getting me the water had to be judged and then it also had to cool the earth that was why there was a division two-thirds of the earth is covered with water and when you read revelations when one of the trumpets is blown one of the things that will be happened will happen to the earth 
is that there will be certain kinds of plagues and judgments. I'm saying all of this to let you know that Satan has a history. The strength of Satan is not his might because he's not the strongest of spirits. The strength of Satan is an advantage of a spiritual strategy backed up by an ancient wisdom of deceit. Are we blessed? Very quickly. Keys to long life. The first thing I want you to know about the keys to long life is you do not choose one and leave the rest. They all complement themselves. You don't choose one key and then allow the rest to go. No. There are keys. There are keys. Number one, the first key to long life that the Bible reveals is speaking, choosing, releasing words of life. Psalm 34, verse 12 to 14. And then we'll look at Proverbs 18, verse 21. Psalms 34, 12 to 14, and then Proverbs 18, verse 1. The first key to long life is to speak it. The first key to long life is to choose it. The first key to long life is to release it. Hallelujah. Ready? Look up. Let's read Psalm 34 verse 12. One to read. What man is he that desireth what? Life. And loveth what? Many days that he may see good. Read on. Keep what? There is a relationship. Stop. Between your tongue, its communication, and your life. The Bible says, who is he that desire long life? It says, keep your tongue from evil and your lips from what? Speaking guile. 14. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The emphasis is 12 and 13. Who is he, Koinonia, that desires long life? I don't die, yo. Oh. The Bible says, who is he that desires long life? Don't just laugh about what I'm saying. Because whether you think you are joking or not, the Bible says, and let it not be said before an angel, I made a mistake. Who is he that wants to activate longevity? It says, keep the... Please go to verse 13. 13, 13, 13. It says, keep thy tongue from what? And your lips keep your tongue. I know many of you have said, Kai, people are begged, they are exaggerating. Why do you want to speak? Please be real. You be real in the earth way, you will die like a chicken. Your reality must be the word. It says, I am the way. I am reality. I am absolute reality. Hallelujah. Proverbs 18, 21. can we read Proverbs 18 verse 21 one to read what will they eat the fruit of what no 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 it's in your bible it says they that love it shall do what death and life this is Solomon, a man who received wisdom from God. He's teaching us from the abundance of the mysteries that he was granted access to. And he said, in my exploration of spiritual mysteries, I found something. Death and life are left in the power of the tongue. They that love it shall eat the fruit there. Hallelujah. Are you blessed? The Bible says, I set before you this day blessing and cursing. Is that true? Death and life. Here's my suggestion. I can't force you, but this is my suggestion. Choose life that you may live, not wish it. Choose life. Koinonia, 
choose life that you may live are you still a believer choose life that you may live choose life I set before you blessing and cursing I set before you death and life but this is my advice for you choose life I speak life oh my brother I speak life head and not a tail you will prevail I speak like Don't give up the fight For your life Hallelujah Everybody say after me I choose life Outside can you shout it I choose life Those standing at the back The back there Can you say I choose life don't let the devil tell you. I hope you know what you're saying. Say it. I choose life. He said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so. Conquer fear. I choose life. When you speak, you release it. This is a voice activated planet. Nothing happens until sound is released. I choose life. Send it to the atmosphere. I choose life. Send it ahead of your tomorrow. I choose life. The will of man cannot be compromised. Hallelujah. Listen. Jesus said, Behold, I, Jesus, the King of kings, the creator of the ends of the earth, I stand at the door of your heart and I keep knocking. I cannot enter until your will permits me. As mighty as Jesus is, he respects the will of man. How much more Satan? Jesus, the son of the living God, the resurrected Christ, the eternal one, stands at the door of a man's heart and keeps knocking for 60 years. If that man refuses, he goes to hell. But he was knocking. So what do you think makes you think that Satan just steps into your heart? It's called deception. This is the foundation of witchcraft. It paints a picture that is not real. It makes you to buy into it and you authorize him to have wreck havoc in your life. Say it again, I choose life. Say it again, I choose life. number two can you pray in tongues for one minute and say Lord let this revelation just sink into me if the devil brings the memories of your past loved ones tell him Satan the Lord rebuke you I know they are in heaven but right now I'm making my choice and my decision don't let the devil just bring any memory to put guilt and say, did they speak like that? Say, Satan, you are a liar. The Lord rebuke you. I choose life. Hallelujah. Are you blessed tonight? Write very quickly, everybody. Key number two to longevity. The fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord. Biblical key number two to longevity. Under the word fear, write reverence. Reverence. The fear, open bracket, reverence of the Lord. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 27. Proverbs 10 27. Proverbs 10, 27. Everyone read. One, two, read. The fear of the Lord. Yirat Adonai. Reverence for God. Respect for Him. Honor for Him. 
and his ways and what he represents prolongs days but the years of the wicked shall be shortened the bible says the fear of the lord there are two indexes given in the bible to measure the fear of the lord in a man's life number one obedience to his commands and number two service in the house of god obedience and service are two keys that demonstrate whether or not you fear the lord obedience obedience oh i love him i obey him proverbs chapter 9 verse 10 to 11 i just want to praise you i lift my hands to say i love you you are everything to me and I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name. I exalt your holy name on high. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and the knowledge of the holy is understanding verse 11 for by me days shall be what and the years of thy life shall be increased and so the Lord spoke to Isaiah he said go and tell Hezekiah you will not recover from that sickness you will die and Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and said, Oh Lord, remember how I have walked diligently before you. And the Lord sent Isaiah again. He said, uh -uh, uh -uh. I remember my faithfulness. And he went back and said, The Lord said, I have added. For by me, Joshua Selman's days shall be multiplied. And the years of his life shall be increased obedience and service when we talk to people about obeying the principles of God many people think that I can live my life the way I want longevity brothers and sisters hear me don't let westernization deceive you longevity is tied to your fear of the Lord service there are so many people seated here inside and outside you're not serving in any unit you're not contributing in any way to the advancement of the kingdom i shall not die but live to declare the works of the lord Amen. that's a scripture there you will live to declare you will live to promote you will live to frontier his kingdom let me tell you this my passion under the apostolic ministry is not just to produce miracles in people's lives is to create a sense my passion is to institutionalize god consciousness in people to make it an institution that everything in your life brothers and sisters is secondary to the pursuit of his agenda i don't care whether you have discovered your assignment or not i can tell you an assignment start serving diligently in the house of god don't you let people fool you to think those who serve in the house of god are just weak people who are desperate for husband say kai you self eh? the way you are behaving don't let anyone cheat you there are people who live their lives as though you control your life by yourself hallelujah when five minutes without your breath you are gone it doesn't matter what your agenda is it's over the greatest part of a man's life is that part that is invested in serving god that's how you cheat death that's how you cheat the grave that's how you cheat death you don't cheat death by being afraid of it you cheat death by serving god victorious in life and victorious
glorious in death. Paul says, for for me to live is Christ. And if I die, it is still gain. There is no loss. Hallelujah. As you're sitting here, the Lord is speaking to you. You are living your life as young as you are. You think you are too busy. There are many of you outside. As you are looking at my face, the Lord Jesus is speaking to you tonight. I'm saying you are the one I'm sending this man of God to talk to. When will you begin to serve God with the active years of your life? Say, I'm not a man of God. I'm a pilot. So what? That my life be offered, oh God, on the altar of sacrifice. That I will serve you. I told God, this is all I do with my life. I don't have plan B. When I wake up in the morning, your kingdom come, oh God. That's all I do. Are you getting blessed? Service is one of your greatest respect that you can do for God. I'll serve. I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve. I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best With all my life, I'll do my best for you I'll do my best, I'll do my best I'll do my best for you Sing it one more time from your heart I'll serve, I'll serve I'll serve you Lord forever I'll serve I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord. It's only a fool that will live his life hustling. I must make it. As though you hold the breath of your nostrils in your hands. You go to churches and see how many people warm the bench every week. And there is no sense of conviction in them to serve God. That there's no service for the kingdom. It's not part of their lives. They come and they warm the bench. And smile around. And you tell them, are you serving? Any believer that is not serving in a church. Not serving in a group. Your seed is not going for the advancement of the kingdom. You don't deserve to live. He says, I shall not die but live. There is a way a man's life can frontier the kingdom. God will kill a nation to preserve that man. I travel all the time. Don't you think I don't know what I'm saying? Tomorrow we are on our way again to be there. All the time. I've seen all varieties of accidents. I've seen all kinds of things. I've seen all kinds of seeming threatening situations. We have met armed robbers. We were going to, um, when we were going to Ogbomosho, our flight was cancelled. We had to charter a car to take us by road. We left about 4.30 in the morning. Just coming out of Abuja, Abaji, going towards, just entering the route to go towards Kogi. And we told somebody reversing, they were armed robbers. Brothers and sisters, this gentleman speaking to you, I'm not a fool. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'm educated, but I want to tell you something. The fear of the Lord can prolong the days of a man. That you spend your life serving God. During the days of our fathers, the popular song is, Lord, here am I, send me. Right now we are saying, Lord, here am I. Give me. I have come. I finally arrived to collect. See, let me tell you, don't just laugh. If you keep that mentality and it becomes the circumference of your Christian experience, you will be unfruitful in the kingdom. I want to stand before my maker. Mm. Ay, ay, ay. I can only imagine what it would be like. Ah, what's the song? 
You know the song I'm trying to sing, right? Surrounded by your glory What will my heart feel? Will I dance for you, Jesus? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine That on that day when I stand before him When we are finally done And we have conquered the earth Depopulated the kingdom of hell and turn the hearts of many to righteousness that through faith after we have subdued kingdoms and wrought righteousness we will stand upon the mountain and salute creation and say Lord I am ready and you appear before him to be absent in the body the apostle says is to be present with the Lord and he looks at you and says well done you tried and they take on that crown and you see all the Matthias saying we watched you all the while while you were in that crusade we watched you while you refused to give up as you were casting out those devils the family in heaven was watching for some of us while you were roaming around gossiping and all that was your passion was oh god husband time is going god said we, we were watching you too i am a life that was changed thank you for giving to the lord I am so glad you came. We were in your life a few weeks ago. And when we went there, the organizer of the, the campus could say, when he met me, I saw the way he was saluting me. And I said, I was wondering, what was this for? And he called me and he said, sir, about three years or thereabout, when you came into this campus, I was just a fresh student when I came in. And when you preached, I got born again. I got filled with the Holy Spirit and today I'm still standing and doing many things. Every time people call and say koinonia messages are changing people, I say, Lord, thank you. I have no business being known. They don't need to know me that I may decrease. That my face cannot heal anybody. My picture cannot bless anybody. There is one mightier than I. He's the one I live and I spend my entire life serving. Please, I speak to you as a servant of God tonight, think about your life. Think seriously about your life. And the way you are ignoring the things of God, as though there is something better. I'm not saying be a pastor. Be an addict enough. When was the last time your money entered the advancement of the gospel? How many souls can stand before God and say it was your giving that brought the men of God to this place? How many of you can say it was your prayer? You were interceding for every man of God. Not snoring around and complaining. How many of you have sacrificed your night time for the sake of the kingdom? How many of you have sacrificed your food for the kingdom? The fear of the Lord. Let me tell you. Vanity upon vanity. All is vanity. I have stood before kings. I have stood before millionaires. I know what honor sounds. I wouldn't trade you for silver or gold. Impossible. I wouldn't trade you for riches untold. You are, you are my. There is nothing in this life that will attract me enough to stop what I'm doing. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. The psalmist said, better is one day. I'd rather be a doorkeeper. I'm so desperate to serve you. Although I'm a king, I choose to be an usher, a sanctuary keeper, than a celebrity somewhere. These were men who understood God. They understood the ways. There are some of you here, you think you are too big to join the protocol. You are too big to do this. You see all the people sacrificing and you think they are fools. Unfortunately, most preachers have preached service, not as a proof of love for God, but as a way to get things from God. It is true that if they obey and serve him, there are benefits. But brothers and sisters, hear me. Beyond getting things, it is a proof of love. 
So if your work is to bring this water, you bring it with all sense of honor. Not just like you are worshipping a man. Oh, it's a privilege to serve in the house of God. It's a privilege. If you are to clean the chairs, you are cleaning the chairs and say, Lord, it's a, it's a privilege. It's a privilege. You can do without me. You have chosen to do with me. You are supposed to bake the cake. You are seated and you know you have grace. You say, no, I need to join the welfare department. I must spend my life. I, I need to contribute. You are excellent in graphic. Oh, the media needs me. Service. 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 Whether you are in Zaria or not, find a church. Find a group. Find a fellowship. Find a, a congregation of believers. Many of us are looking for Gio and Mama. That's the only condition you have given God to serve him. Lord, I will serve you if I will be the mama of the ministry. I will serve you if you give me the name of my parish. The name of your parish is nothing. Let it be your passion. Hallelujah. Are we getting blessed? I'm preaching from the depth and the core of my spirit. Because I don't want you to waste your time. Please get back into the mystery of kingdom service. Get back. You spend your time serving a guy because you love him you go to his house you wash his clothes you cook you iron and he says is it not too much you say this is the least i can do for you is it to express my love i'm 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 not embarrassed call me a fool it's true eh? if loving you is a crime let me be a criminal look at what you are saying look at what you are saying shame on any believer who is saying that i'm telling you i say it again shame on any believer that because of mundane things you can so serve a man and your passion cannot go for God. Hallelujah. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 1 and 2. Skapaka prondo sopro silia paharato sufratia. Proverbs chapter 3. My son, forget not my law, but let thy heart keep my commandments verse 2 for length of days obedience length of days and long life together with peace shall they add to thee commandment he that loveth me is he that keeps my commands john 14 21 he that keepeth my commands is he that loveth me and i will love him and my father will love him and we will come and manifest ourselves to him the commands of God. His commandments are not burdensome, brothers and sisters. Let's hurry up. Key number three to long life. Engaging the mystery of the blood. Key number three, let's hurry up. Engaging the mystery of the blood with understanding. engaging the mystery of the blood with understanding there are three ways that the mystery of the blood was used in scripture to bring preservation and deliverance number one in the book of exodus chapter 12 it was used to anoint the doorposts and the lintels so that the angel of death would not come and destroy the people. Hallelujah. Number two, Jesus revealed it to us in the communion. The communion. In the New Testament, he began to teach us the mystery of the communion. And then number three, the mystery of what the Bible calls blood sprinkling. That the priest would take a portion and a sample of the blood and sprinkle upon the people and it will mark them. 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 24 to 30. We may not have time to read all but let's see how far we can go. Help us media. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 24 to 30. Paul is teaching the church in Corinth the mystery of the blood with respect to communion 
and when he had given thanks he break it and said take it this is my body which is broken for you do this in remembrance of me next verse he says after the same manner he took the cup here and there 25 26 for as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup ye show the lord's death till he comes 27 wherefore whosoever now listen shall eat this bread and drink this cup unworthily open your eyes i want to show you a mystery unworthily he says this sacrament there are two sacraments that Jesus left to the church. One is the sacrament of the communion. The second is the sacrament of baptism. Water baptism. Two of them are still valid. They are important today. He says, Whosoever shall take up the cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of what? The body and the blood of the Lord. Here comes the mystery. 28. But let a man examine himself and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily does what? He can eat and drink unto damnation because he did not discern that the body and bread of Jesus Christ relieves life. And because he's, he's eating it unworthily, he will get the opposite of it. Next verse 30. Read please. One, two, read. Stop. For what cause? For the cause of partaking in the communion without discernment for this cause how many people how many how many people do you know have died today that they told you it was a communion that killed them have you ever had any death and they told you that ah this death it was communion that killed the man have, is it in your bible for this cause did he say few many many are weak for this cause, the cause of not discerning the Lord's body, the cause of not respecting it. For this cause of not giving it the honor, it says many are weak. You believe the Bible, right? Many are what? Sick. And many sleep. Wow. For this cause, trivializing the body of Christ, not discerning the power it can release not discerning that this represents the body of jesus beaten battered by whose stripes we are healed it says for this cause that means when you take it with understanding and you take it worthily for that cause you will be strong you will be healthy and you will live you will be strong you will be healthy and you will leave. Exodus chapter 12. From verse 7 to 8. The mystery of the blood. And then 12 to 13. We are not going there. We don't have the time. We have to move on to other things. I'm just giving you references. Exodus chapter 12. 7 to 8. And then 12 to 13. And also verse 23. These are all scriptures that show how the blood upon the lintel and the doorpost when the angel of death, the Bible calls it the destroyer. That when the destroyer comes and he sees that blood upon your lintel, it will leave and trouble you not. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Key number four, honor to parents. Key number four, Let's be fast, please. Honor to parents. Open bracket, both physical and spiritual. Ephesians chapter 6 from verse 2 to 3. Honor to parents. Both physical and spiritual are mystery keys to long life. One to read is projected. One to read. Honor thy father and thy mother which is the first commandment with a promise verse 3 was the blessing that it may be well with thee and that thou mayest live long where it told you you will live long and it told you the location where you will live long for honoring parents how many of us have dishonored our parents yes they are foolish yes they've acted stupidly yes they may have behaved in a way but do you honor them 
Some of us beat up our parents. Some of us beat up daddy and mommy. We think I'm a big boy, I'm a big girl, I'm now married, I have children, I'm driving a jeep. Let no level of madness ever get into you that you will insult your father, curse your father or your mother. Let me show you this. Proverbs 20, 20. A grave consequence follow those who can curse and dishonor their fathers. Read it please. One to read. His lamp shall be put out in obscure darkness. Whosoever can dare to curse the father and the mother that brought him to the earth. Now get this. I'm not saying that they lead you to partition. So as for as long as what they are doing is not leading you to death and leading you outside of salvation no matter what it is. Look at me. David twice had the opportunity to kill Saul. Is that true? Are you Bible students? David had the opportunity to kill Saul. He caught his robe and went away with it. He said, I will not be the one to kill God's anointing. How many times have people run their mouths talking about men of God? You sit down where you are and you are just lambasting men of God. Just talking and smiling. The Bible says, honor your father and your mother. Whether spiritual or physical. It said, they that rule well among you deserve double honor. Honor them that rule well. When they have proven a life of integrity. Not human worship. Not fear. But a sense of honor and respect I honor my parents in life and in death hallelujah some of you have elderly people come around you can see an elderly person standing in a meeting in your house and you just cross your leg and you are just balancing and smiling and say you came late please I don't want anything to inconvenience me you are there shaking your wivon up and down instead of you to stand up and say mama please you can sit down and she say no 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 my daughter insist insist say mama sit down it's not about being a virtuous woman it's about life and death life and death it's in your bible i'm not the one saying it it's in your bible say i choose to honor my father and my mother how many of you pray for your men of god how many of you pray for ministers you stand there criticizing and shouting when you hear that a minister has a scandal instead of you to get to the place of prayer you stand there saying i always knew i always suspected the way i've been looking at that man you see that continue the bible says he that cursed his father and his mother his lamp his life will be taken away to obscure darkness how many have died as a result of this honor when a father fights his son he loses his honor when a son fights his father spiritual or physical he loses his life that's why many people sadly to say many people who just break out foolishly because they want to start their churches or ministries break out and jeopardize the life of the Jew thinking God called them notice very few of them ever last because he that dishonored his father his lamb will be taken Are we learning? Number what now? Number five. Walking in wisdom. The fifth key to long life. Walking in wisdom. Proverbs chapter 3 verse 13 to 3 verse 13 to 16. Those outside, if you are still with us, say amen. God bless you. Alright, Proverbs 3 verse 13 to 16. Walking in wisdom. Walking in wisdom, foolishness can take a man's life. Foolishness can cut short a man's life. Walking in wisdom. Hallelujah. The Bible says, happy is the man that what? Finds wisdom. That means you have to look for it. And the man that getteth understanding. 14. For the merchandise of it are better than silver. And the gain thereof than fine gold. 15. She is more precious than rubies. And all the things that thou canst desire are not to be compared with her. 16. Length of days are in her right hand. And in her left hand 
riches and honor. If you embrace wisdom, it will also open you up to long life. Look at me. How many people do you know who cannot drive? Hello? They cannot drive. And then they go and carry a truck and kick it because they are trying to impress their colleagues. Are you seeing how foolishness costs the life of people? And then they go to the road. They have given the spirit of death unrestrained access. How many people drive their cars? Foil is leaking down. Are you getting what I'm saying? Foil is leaking and they don't care. There are people who, who transfer is a gallon that is in their car or their bus. They connect it directly to the carburetor and from the, from the foil is feeding the vehicle and they are there running. They are smiling. How many people you look at the tire of the car and you are already seeing the metal. The tire is so it is. The, the man is driving and holding the steering this way for the car to be straight. That's the degree to which the car is disaligned. And yet he plans to travel to Lagos. The Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. Are we blessed? A man takes beer, alcohol, and tells you, can I give you a ride? You say, really? You get into the car. Wisdom. You have trusted your life to a foolish man. Are we getting blessed, please? How many things do people do? Go to many homes now and see the risky connections that they do in their homes. Directly under your bed is one wire that has been there two years. Naked wire. How many people dry their clothes on naked wires? Or at least part of it is beginning to cut. Life wire. They dry their clothes and smile. They have been doing it. I, I know how to do it. No, no, no. I'm showing you how people partner with the spirit of death to cut short their lives. You plug iron and you just reduce it and then you are watching film and you are enraptured in the movie. There are many of us, the way you own your car, there is something only you know how to touch. You touch the wires and then something down. You just touch it and it sparks. Cas, cas, and then the thing starts. You've been doing it for many years. Preserved by mercy. You think you are wise. God is speaking to you tonight. How many people drive cars with the exhaust on the ground? Sparking. You will see it sparking. And there is foil directly under. Yet we went to school. Is God teaching us wisdom? There are people where you keep the room where people sleep is also where you keep foil. You buy one jerry can of foil and keep it closed. There are babies there. There are all kinds of things. People are inhaling it. There are others you never eat well. I'm showing you how people partner with Satan to destroy their lives. You never eat well. There's no difference from the day God, you were in poverty and now that God is even helping you. There is no difference. Look at mechanics. Look at what they eat. Same thing. One lady comes with, 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 with a lele or something and serves them. That's what they eat every day, every night. They take tea in the night. See, that kind of unhealthy, that's why the life expectancy level of Africa is about, is it 30 or 40? scientifically proven we're, we're not talking of demons here we're just talking of carelessness say carelessness yes yes people do all kinds of things risky things and we think there is no problem to it very risky things it's only god that can tell the kind of risks people take every day every day there's food on fire. You made yam. The water is boiling. You want to use your hand to carry it out. Can't you look for a spoon? If the spoon is missing, can't you be patient? Why must you cut you? You came complete. Why must you go back with one hand? Yes, you will make heaven, but is that a rich life? Is that a rich life? Why will you cut short your life? Because of carelessness. It's God speaking to us. Number six. 
The sixth key to longevity is to take authority over the spirit of death, infirmity, and destruction. We're getting deeper now. We're getting to the area where we're going to pray. Luke 10, verse 19. Death is a spirit, brothers and sisters. I've taught you this. Behold! See! Don't be ignorant. I give you power to tread upon serpents, upon scorpions, and over how many? How many? All the powers of the enemy. It says, and nothing shall by any means harm you. I have given you. If you take advantage of it and you use it appropriately, it said, with wise counsel, make war. With wise counsel, make war. I have given it to you. Death is a spirit. Infirmity is a spirit. Destruction is a spirit. The spirit does not just work by default. When the spirit of death is in an environment, what happens is it waits and finds people that partner with its activity. This is the standard operation. There are a few exemptions, however, but the standard way the spirit of death, the spirit of death is like a lion waiting for a prey. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Let's take 10 minutes and discuss something that will be very serious under this topic. A subtopic under point six, the reality of witchcraft. Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12. May I remind you, ladies and gentlemen, if you are yet to believe that witchcraft is real. Are you hearing what I'm saying? If anyone has deceived you into the illusion that you are living in a world where there is no witchcraft, I just gave you a teaser with wicked spirits please listen to what i'm saying because it's very important the reality of witchcraft deuteronomy 18 from verse 10 to 12 let's hurry up let's just write the scriptures media copy them down and then you give it to us nahum chapter 3 verse 4 ezekiel chapter 13 verse 17 to 23 proverbs 1 11 and then psalms 10 verse 8 there are many more but we'll just stop here Give us Deuteronomy 18 verse 10 to 12. Let's hurry up. Everyone read. Want to read. There shall be not found among you anyone that make his son or his daughter to do what? Pass through fire. Or that uses divination. Or an observer of times. An enchanter. Or a witch. Next verse. Or a charmer. Or a consulter with familiar spirits. Or a wizard. Or a necromancer. Next verse. For all that do these things are an abomination to the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out before thee. God himself identifies that there is a dark side to our world. There are enchanters. There are stargazers. There are men that manipulate the constellation against the destinies of men. The church has been so ignorant or we have exaggerated the reality and the existence of satan nahum chapter 3 verse 4 just look up so that um since it's projected one to read because of the multitude of the wardoms of the well-favored harlot the what mistress of witchcraft that sell what look at what she sells she can she look at her goods the way you sell pure water the mistress of witchcraft and say you can come and meet me and i will give you africa i can give you this village i can sell that soul to you it's in your bible it says she sells what nations through her wardom her fraternity with human beings that means human agents come to meet her I want access to a territory. And what does she sell again? Families. Is that in your Bible? Is that in your Bible? That there are witchcraft activities that sell families. 
Rando zetele kratu shalabakaya. Bronco sutu palaba. Let's look at two scriptures quickly. Ezekiel 13, 17 to 23 is a long reading. Let's rush. Are you still with me? All right, let's hurry up to 23. Likewise, son of man, set thy face against the daughters of thy people, which prophesy out of their own heart and prophesy thou against them. Lord God, woe to the women that sow pillows to all armholes and make what? Handkerchiefs. What version is this? Okay. It's okay. Upon the head of every stature. Hey, let me show you what the Bible is saying. Where's my handkerchief? They sew pillows and they carry handkerchiefs and drop it on the head of statues to do what? To do what? To hunt souls as a way of invoking the spirits of men. They take on a handkerchief, put it on a statue and call your name. It's in your Bible. They have not taught you because many preachers have lied to you. That is a nice word for as long as you just say, God... I'm here and I love you. Everything is alright. Welcome to planet Earth that has strangers that are here before our arrival. They hunt souls. He said, will ye hunt the souls of my people? They are hunting. They are everywhere. Let me tell you. Especially for Africa. Please don't pretend like you are coming from the Caribbean. You were born an African. You belong to an African family. And you must be ready to confront our children by the grace of God will not need to go through this. But for now, we must pay that price. Are you there? Will ye save the souls alive that come unto you? Next verse. Let's look at it quickly. And will ye people, oh, and will ye what? Me among the people for handful of barley and for pieces of bread. To slay what? Read that part. To slay the souls that should not die to slay souls that should not die and to do what to save the souls that are alive the mystery of spiritual exchange that a man will see that his time is here because the wicked shall be cut short and he will say in my place i invoke this and i donate this person die in my stead it was an ancient practice that king used when they were about to kill them, they killed their children and an indignation rose and the war ended. It's still being practiced today. Men who give others for their lives. I prophesy to you, any man that invokes your name on any altar, as surely as the Lord God of Israel lives, they will carry their dead body from that altar. I say it again, in the name of the Lord Jesus, that any charm, any altar that invokes your name, to die the death of another. May my God visit them with judgment. Next, next verse. Lord God, behold, I am against your pillows. Wherewith ye were there to hunt the souls. To make them fly. Watch this. Look at the mystery of witchcraft. And I will tear them from your arms. And we let the souls go. Even the souls that ye hunt. To make them fly. When verse what now? Two verses left. Your handkerchiefs. I will also tear. Your instruments of divination. Those, those mediums. That you use in covens. That you flip. And call the names of people. And somebody is walking peacefully on the street. All of a sudden. Somebody comes with a knife and kills him. And they say he just died. No, sir. He did not just die. An invocation happening in the realm of the spirit. And deliver my people out of your hand. And they shall be no more in your hand to be haunted. Say amen. amen. And they shall know that I am the Lord your God. Let's read 22. Because, I can't read all those ones. Whom I have not made sad. Listen. Listen and strengthen the hands of the wicked that you should not return from his wicked ways by promising him life look at this guys the summary is that this is a transaction of life and death happening in the underworld whereas there are human beings moving you are minding your business they are discussing business with your life i prophesy to you again oh lord god of israel i speak 
that anyone under the sound of my voice that is being manipulated by stargazers that is being manipulated by necromancers they who manipulate the constellations i declare in the name of jesus christ may those ovens catch fire may those ovens tonight catch fire may those covens catch fire Proverbs 1 verse 11 Proverbs 1 verse 11 Shabarato Totobaya Watch this If they say Come with us Let us lie and wait for what? Let us do what? Let us wait for blood Let us look privately for the innocent Without cause Meaning they did not do anything But we desire their blood so we are waiting let's wait for the day that they want to take a step let's wait for when the woman takes in and then we will visit ah. the whole world lieth in wickedness if you are yet to be aware be aware this night write the following scriptures down we may not have time to read them but this is the lot of the wicked this is what god will do with wicked people okay let's look at one of them micah chapter 5 verse 12 but one other scripture you will write this is the lot of witchcraft psalms 109 verse 17 to 18. just write that we won't read it let's read micah chapter 5 verse 12. when the lord opened my eyes to this scripture i was amazed one to read and shout amen after you read it one to read He said i will cut off witchcraft i will cut it off because if i don't cut it off they will cut short your life so i will cut it off is god helping us but i mean number seven quickly there are eight points i'm giving you seven activating the ministry of angels the seventh key to long life activating the ministry of angels hebrews 1 14 activating the ministry of angels angels are real they are real i have seen them i see them all the time angels are very very real are they not all ministering spirits meaning you cannot see them in the physical except god opens your eyes or he gives them a, a material body to appear before you sent forth to do what to minister to those who shall be the heirs of salvation are you an heir of salvation are you a partaker of salvation there are angels allocated to you but they never act until you activate their ministry they never act until you activate their ministry until you activate their ministry and you activate their ministry in the place of prayer you activate their ministry through words you release angels you release angels you activate their ministry angels are real and they help believers we we'll look at a few scriptures they protect they preserve and they contend with wicked spirits part of the assignment of angels with respect to spiritual warfare and preservation of the saints because God knows that alone we cannot make it. There is an advantage that wicked spirits have. They have advantage of the understanding of the mysteries of the kingdom. And so he gave us angels. Joshua chapter 5 verse 13 to 14. Don't turn there. Just write it. Joshua 5 verse 13 to 14. Joshua has an, an encounter with an angel. Project for us. Project for us 2 Kings 19 verse 35. 2 Kings 19 verse 35. While she's doing that, in the book of Daniel chapter 10, when you read from verse 13, the Bible says that Archangel Michael contended with the prince of Persia. He was trying to stop him from coming down to destroy Daniel. But Daniel was activating the ministry of that angel in the place of prayer. When we pray, we activate angels when we speak we activate angels 
second kings you can see the angels standing to fight warfare for men read and it came to pass that night that the angel of the lord went out and smote in the camp of the assyrians a hundred four score and five thousand and when they rose up early in the morning behold they were all dead corpses one angel imagine how powerful they are about 185,000 people killed by one angel in one night when you activate them Jude chapter 1 verse 9 the Bible tells us that when Satan came to carry the body of Moses Satan wanted to come and carry the body of Moses and Michael the archangel again he came to contend with Satan so angels fight to preserve our bodies they fight to preserve our lives preserve our bodies preserve our destinies Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 Psalm 91 verse 11 and 12 read verse 11 want to read for he shall give what his angels charge over thee hallelujah to keep thee in all thy ways verse 12 and they shall bear thee up on their hands lest thou dash thy foot against the stone hallelujah the key to activating them is found in psalms 103 verse 20. psalm 103 verse 20. please begin to prepare the oil there's there's an anointing service that will happen here shortly very quickly quickly bring the oil for me please don't open it yet just bring it these are the instructions that the lord gave me psalms 103 verse 20 go ahead and read one to read bless the lord ye his angels that excel in strength that do what his commandment how do they walk hearkening they walk at the instance of his word they walk at the instance of his word as you pray and declare the word you activate them you activate them you activate them as you speak God's word the moment they hearken to the word they start walking until a word is spoken the angels are not activated the moment they hearken to the word they start moving brothers and sisters we are this generation that will help our families there are many of our families they went to school and they read books they cannot explain what is happening with their lives god brought you to this miracle service tonight can you say lord maybe i'm the one that will stand in to end some things it's not as difficult as you think these are territorial powers sitting over families and they won't let you go some of you have written jam only god knows how many times why they seize your result without any reason marriage you are a beautiful girl you've kept yourself you love god any man that comes to marry you something catastrophic will happen in his life do you know why satan wants to frustrate you to make you think god is not mighty so that you will resolve to go back to him you go back to a herbalist and see if a husband will not come even if it's with frog jump it will come because what the devil wants is not your lack of marriage it's a union that is covenanted to him are you getting what i'm teaching you tonight but we are that generation we will say no no compromise we will break through the gates of the enemy How many of us are ready to truly be free tonight what you don't confront you don't conquer brothers and sisters i confronted issues in my life i took the word of god and i decided to cry for my life and my destiny otherwise i would have remained a failure forever tonight i want you to know that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty to God to the pulling down of strongholds casting down every imagination and every high thing 
that has exalted itself above the knowledge of Christ and bringing every thought every cancer every HIV every lack of progress tonight we are bringing it to the obedience of Christ now before I start ministering I like you to pray in one minute and confront gates and say I represent myself and my family I come as an ambassador outside make sure you participate I come in as an ambassador it's time to be released it's time to be released from the shackles of darkness I'm breaking free breaking out pray for the sake of your loved ones help your family pray for your destiny say Lord I now see the problem it's not just cancer it's not just HIV it's not just poverty it's a contention from hell hallelujah hallelujah yes Lord praise the Lord lift your hands everybody lift your hands as I pray the powers of darkness tying lives and families will give way listen I tell you there will be a move of blood and fire the Lord showed me why blood to open up the gates that has been closed why fire to burn everything that has not been planted are you hearing me lift your hands mighty Jesus father there are families that are here tonight as a matter of life and death Lord your people are not gathered at unto a man they have come for a visitation yokes of sicknesses are killing families there are many people who have been tied down and Lord we understand that the enemy has done this but tonight we come in by the blood of Jesus and Lord as I make decrees inside and outside unto the spirit that confirmed the words of your servants I pray that there be an exodus from captivity at the count of seven hear me i like you to shout the name the name of jesus at the top of your voice many of you will fall into visions and trances at once you will see liberations happening in your family ushers get ready let me help those under the anointing outside please shout one two three four five six get ready now seven I plead the blood I plead the blood I plead the blood bring them out I plead the blood yokes be broken I plead the blood 
Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Shekekeka. Shekeka. Marekoto. Let the blood speak. The blood opens every gate. Every gate. Paka pa pa ra da ba ra da ra da ra da. Seketeteteteteteteba. Masoto seka. Rabaka teleketeba. Mambre po shoteli ba 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 ba. Eya ya 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 ya. Seketetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetetete
let her go. Devil of darkness. Leave her now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. Come out. Come out right now. Release this family. Release them now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. The blood speaks in the name of Jesus. of him now come out come out of him by the fire of the Holy Ghost release him and all that belong to him the blood speaks now I open up this gate now be free in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. These are the powers, the horns that frustrates the agenda of the kingdom. See, you must not come out here as it's happening to them, realize it's happening to you. Hallelujah. Now, anyone with any kind of growth or anything in your body or you are standing in for someone, lift up your hands. Whether a lump, a growth, please lift your hands because it's time for it to go. Turn her. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. In the name of Jesus, look at me. Right now, this is a this is a mighty I'm seeing seven horns on this lady's head seven horns and it's not just her seven horns this is a territorial spirit that has sat on her family but by the blood of Jesus Christ I adjure you by the blood of Jesus I see a big gate closed I open it now in the spirit Many of you may not understand what is happening. I open it. I see a gate that is closed over that family. I open it now. All the chains on it, let fire fall on them. Seketa bakata. Sekete kapa. One of the horn, terminal disease. The other one delay, the other one joblessness, the other one lack of marriage. I set it on fire as I see it in the spirit. Now, now, as it's happening to her, it happens to you in the name of Jesus. your hands hallelujah I mean those just those with any growth please lift your hands now I'll start ministering to the sick right now we'll just start with them 
and we are going to take testimonies hallelujah before pastor jake comes up to minister i'm going to pray for you sick people lift your hands if you are tired of that growth just growths of all sorts you are tired if you are not tired you can put down your hand whether it's a lump whether it's whatever it is hallelujah now as i pray for you the lord is showing me two people the power of god will come upon them there are movements on your body movements 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 and the lord is showing me a mighty being something that looks like an alligator this is what i'm seeing the lord is just showing it to me two of you by the power of the holy ghost wherever these two are lord let your fire right now fall on those two the power of god will come mightily upon those two people whether you are inside or outside right now the power of god will come and the fire will fall mightily please when that happens let's have the two people out it's falling right now it's falling right now movements in your body movements in your body say there's one more person left that demonic movement the fire of God locates you wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus bring her come out come out of her now out that devil of darkness this is a big I'm seeing like a beast it moves all around this woman's body it's already forming pulse literal pulse around her breast region a devil of darkness because this is supposed to cause stroke partial paralysis it will eat up everything they will cut one breast and then all through the body but right now your time is up please take note the second person the power of god is still going to fall on you the lord showed me two people right now in the name of jesus i release you i release you i release you by the fire of the holy ghost this is a projection of darkness the lord shows me father by your mercy let the blood speak in the name of jesus christ i set you free let the swelling go down let the pain dry up be made whole in the name of jesus outside lift your hands the one person is outside just those outside outside lift your hands i like you to shout the name jesus the power of god will come upon that person at the count of three one two three that fire of the holy ghost in the mighty name of jesus while they are getting the person those with lungs growth lift your hands now thank you jesus as i pray for you start checking yourself we'll take some instant testimonies already the lord has showed me one lady a lump on the left side of your breast it just disappeared right now just disappeared right now lift your hands right now i command every lump every growth go in the name of jesus go in the name of jesus go in the name of jesus i command you to shrink every growth in any part of your body right now i command you to shrink in the name of jesus I command it to shrink 
in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah now begin to check yourself who is Musa 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 please quickly if I if I call your case hurry up don't waste time we're still expecting the person outside the power of God will come upon the person just when that happens let the person come Musa I'm hearing the name Musa who has the name Musa hallelujah please when I mention your case or any you are Musa what are you waiting for you stand up there's witchcraft in your family and the Lord is going to use you as a mighty deliverer hallelujah Janet 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 The meaning of your name in your language means thank you. The meaning of your name means thank you. Thank you. You're a guy. Thank you. Is a brother. Tall brother. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. Hallelujah. Now, listen. There is a lady. This is a very interesting case I want to call. The Lord is ministering to me. Listen. Listen. Not only do you see snakes in your dreams, you see them physically around you. This has happened in a long time. Who is that person? Please. You see snakes physically. Physically. This happens physically. It's your time of deliverance now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Please. The person is around. The person is here. Come out quickly. Please. Save our time. We have a lot to do. Who is that person? You are the one? Physically. Come. Come up. There's another person. You? Come. Come. Two of them. Come now. Hurry up. Look at me. You see physical? Yes. Since when? No. Well, no mic. Huh? That was last year and we didn't this year too. Where do you see the snakes? In my dreams. At times, maybe when I go out, I see them on the way. You see them physically. What of you? I see them in my dreams. Are you married? Do you know why? This is what we must destroy this night. You, your deliverance will start now. Praise God. now out by the power of the Holy Ghost now the snake you are seeing is a man that turns to a snake for you right now I, I, I just saw him in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ leave her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost out come out now out in the name of Jesus Christ tonight is your night of liberty this lady see because I am seeing and while I stood the Lord was ministering to me and the Lord was telling me that they have made a projection that this lady will never marry any man that comes around this lady this is what destroys him this lady you are seeing nobody likes her for whatever reason nobody can know right now leave her in the name of Jesus come out now the snake you are seeing leave her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah You brought the picture, two pictures. Listen, 
listen wait let me describe it before you come out you brought two pictures two pictures of your family members two different pictures you came and stood who is the person two pictures i mean one one two pictures you are here with two pictures of your family members who is that person the lord is ministering to me because there is i need to pray on one of them you brought two pictures of your family members please when we have that person come up what are these people here for oh i called you snake i i left her because we are going to deal with this janet where's janet who's janet three of you are janet you are from kogi state who is from kogi there is somebody from kogi janet kogi state is it kogi i think kogi is somewhere in kogi. please the lord is ministering to me let's save time because I don't want you to tie down somebody's I want God to grant us grace to minister your name is Janet your mom's name is Janet you are from Kogi State come because I see they want to kill your mother lift your hands that your mom's name is Janet I will pray for you so that she will be free where what's wrong with her we need to pray for her huh because i'm first seeing sickness and then i'm seeing a ghastly motor accident we must pray for her the power of god will come upon you and it will touch her thank you jesus lord by your mercy right now let your power set him free my brother i break the curse of witchcraft in your family by the power of the holy ghost Okay, hold my hands. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My dear, let me pray for you. This thing called bad luck must live your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. Totally free. I'm interested in your case. Let me pray for the rest. Which of your family members is here? If you are in our family, come and stand here. God is going to visit the whole family now. Our family, if you are not part of our family, don't come here, please. If you are part of our family, just come and stand here quickly. Please, let's save time. Sister, look at me. Salvation has come to your life today. This, your crying is over. Are you hearing me? Because... This I must pray. This lady's family, she has suffered. You will just see a lady standing like this. That God will pick a lady out because this is I'm seeing hardship. Yes, sir. Where are you from? From Berry. What's your father doing now? Nothing. What's your mother doing? Nothing. Look at this. How did I know? Do I know her? Because this is a cause of hardship. There's nothing that they do that will prosper. But tonight, in the name that is above all names salvation comes your family realize that as it's happening for one person it's happening to you too in the name of the lord jesus hold my hands do you know what i want you to do shout hold my hands shout jesus at the top of your voice can you do that jesus! family come power in the name of Jesus we are going to pray two things the Lord wants me to pray number one your mother will not be a widow are you hearing me we are going to pray we are going to break that power number two there is a cause of delay in this family that will be lifted now is that true am I making sense there is a cause of delay hold your hands together oh you are not sure when i pray for you go and continue with your work praise god there is a cause of delay father in the name of jesus you ask me to call this family out by the power of the holy ghost i release them from this devilish shackle of delay
there is the power of god upon my hands i'm going to lay it upon you as it comes upon you it will terminate this delay delay begun you especially delay i cause delay delay in school delay in everything i cause it in the name of jesus and forgetfulness in the name of jesus christ come you where are you from Kaduna. you are from kaduna i need to pray for you hmm? you are not feeling very fine hold my hands this is a devilish thing thank you jesus release her right now by the power of the Holy Ghost hallelujah Stephanie 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 do we have anybody like that Stephanie that's the person bring the person in I mean that was the other one person remember our two people Break every chain. hallelujah we are going to pray for miracle jobs this night before the end of the program hallelujah enough is enough praise god we are going to pray for jobs two ladies you and you two of you talking come out come yes god would locate you what makes you think god will forget about you run and come come and take your breakthrough there is power in the name of jesus come and join them before you do your work see let me tell you something while she stood here she was praying and saying that the lord will locate her is that, is that what you are saying because i saw like a flash of light and i saw it written and this was what she was thinking and the lord said let her join and pray first hallelujah father in the name of jesus visit her family visit her family in the name of the lord jesus hold your hands together two friends you who came and we are just talking looking through the window and doing a lot of things god is going to visit you where is your mother go and tell her huh, that by next month a big miracle is coming for her hmm? you know when god tells me words like this i'm very careful before you go and write an article on me now people can write all kinds of articles prediction incorrect three exclamation <laughs> hallelujah hold my hands let me pray for two hold. god is going to visit you look at me you will be great ladies i want to pray for you the hand of god will come mightily upon you thank you father use them for your glory right now by the power of the holy ghost let their families be mighty let their lives be mighty i separate you in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus thank you jesus lay your hands on him father in the mighty name of jesus i pray let him experience your power and your grace hallelujah hallelujah praise the lord praise the lord you are sick in your body you came here specifically for a miracle for sickness let me see your hands please let me see your hands quickly so that we'll know okay please come out and line up quickly let's minister to the sick now baba come i will start with you please celebrate our daddy thank you for coming if you're outside please come quickly just line up quickly no well 
fé. Please, please, don't come out wondering, will God heal me? Will God touch me? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes, can we quickly minister to them? Please, as hands come, worship him. Just lead us powerful songs of worship. Hallelujah. As we pray for them, those of you who are seated, just keep praying in tongues. We'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister. I want God to touch everybody this night. Hallelujah. I want God to touch everybody. I pray that God will give us time. Hallelujah. If there is time, by the grace of God, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. We're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly. Hallelujah. Worship team. Savior, He can move the mountain. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jason. Okay. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray for you, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the way. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He's mighty, He is mighty to save. Altar of salvation forever, and altar of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He is mighty, he is mighty to save. Author of salvation, author, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Conquer the grave. Conquer the grave. my blood sister this thing has made me angry this is my blood sister blood of my blood bone of my bones that devil is a bastard this night this is my own blood sister same father same mother right now in the mighty name of Jesus let my sister this is my mother's baby bone of her bone flesh of her flesh in the mighty name of Jesus Christ every spirit of sickness by the fire of the Holy Ghost out of her forever in the mighty name of Jesus Christ no sickness type for go in the mighty name of Jesus Christ if I do not fall sick my sister will not fall sick in the name of Jesus Christ perfection everything wrong with you be healed now hallelujah sorry i took it personal the thing pained me hallelujah praise the lord let's continue hallelujah please if you are holding a picture just lift it up and we'll pray on it lift it up and we'll pray on it praise god if you are holding someone's picture just lift it up we'll have the time when we we'll pray on pictures hallelujah it's raining. It's raining. as you go back make sure you check yourself miracles are happening it's raining. what's wrong with you it's raining. It's raining. <laughs> I feel 
feel the wind of the Spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven, let us hear, let it roll, let it roll, open the
Hallelujah. Now listen. I want you specifically. You can come and stand. It doesn't mean you have it. We want to cancel HIV now. There's nothing to feel. Hallelujah. Whether for yourself or for your loved one, doesn't mean you have HIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please don't be impulsive. HIV is a killer disease. You may have it come out. It's better to come out than to die. Ah, the devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. HIV. How many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, Miracles Everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it. For yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them. And tell them, this is it.
give us a shout of praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Ushers coordinate them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up. Just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While the apostle was ministering to those, the women with the, the burying cases. Now listen to me. One of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Early on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please. Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me the intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following? Just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatsoever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will bring you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life. Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. <laughs> thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafiketale Brasso Pratelia Leon Jimbembrong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell, the fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, <laughs> aha, let the angels of God locate you. Oshas, please take note. Mark Repon, Shiketa Viron, Vendeliara Baba Bandaya, Riano Roba Baba Bela Gala Bosana, Riata Pom, Rate Ketelia, Bakiton, Shiketa Pira Tose, Pila Kada, 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatsoever he does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio Rapidegon Rapidon Zepregila Lingon Rapigata Chakraton Rebaloske Maliro Koto Paralana Bacate Gosu Paragale Bosha Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of egos. The Bible says the amount of good wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you're so high you're so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your hand I'm telling you the Lord will 
Don't you wings of ego. Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people, blessed one, ha! Blessed one for those people, my God. Let the hand of God come upon you. Rando Koshi Pratila. Let the hand of God come upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Ushers, help me find those people. The hand of God comes upon you. Just bring them to the right here. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God, of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Just bring them to the right here. Bring them to the right. Wings to mount up. Wings as eagles to mount up. Wings. Wings. Wings in the spirit. Wings in the spirit. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate poto parikabo liberosi ilaraba hasu pirati landa bakiato shikse subra nende man shakila bongele. My dear, you will not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. Bariro si pretile brendo prati kado pranira dinazingo si pretila ha. Help me find that guy and that lady outside I spoke about. Bariro su pretila dando rosike to pranira kata diraranando sin radiata. of Looking at my cute baby, this lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah! Praise God! Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written? Please, one minute quickly. Just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. is left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah
every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their requests. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on request. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams. Please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we are going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let us spirit over 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 this request to hope by our Satalaba. We can't see that the Galabado Shitaba. We push it and we do Shitaba. Let the miracles that are the bracket I say. Let us be breakthrough back as it. Let the impossible become possible. We can't pass the Shitaba. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost, Shitaba. Let doors open. Let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let there be possibility. Let the possible become possible. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the man and woman conceive and rejoice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let there be creativity. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a Oh, my inner man, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power, lay the enemies submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the blood of Jesus, let us submit by the love of Jesus, let doors open for your people, let doors open, even those who are online, let doors open in the name of Jesus, let them. There will be miracles, miracles, testimonies, miracles, testimonies, miracles. Let it happen now. Miracles. Let there be testimonies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let that which is impossible with men become possible now. 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 By the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you very God. Blessed be the name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus. It is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Oh, miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere. Miracles everywhere.
is going to do mighty things right now in this place. It's another dimension of the mighty things that you'll be doing. Hallelujah. Please, brothers and sisters, listen. God will not bring you to this place to waste your time. I told you all you need to do is to believe. All you need to do is to believe. Hallelujah. We are going to begin to decree and the power of God will move in another dimension in this place. Please, I'd like you to believe. I want you to shout amen. I want you to believe. It's time for breakthrough. It's time for the limitations that tie people maritally, job-wise. It's time for it to bow. It's time for yokes to be destroyed. And we'll also pray that there will be impartation. Some of you came to take fresh grace. Some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels. Some doors have just refused to open. You have fasted, you have prayed. We have come tonight by the grace of God to supply grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prophetic words are very, very powerful. Hallelujah. It's not about speaking. It's about creating. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God does not just reveal your problem. You already know what the problem is. But creating solution. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Oh, that you will believe, brothers and sisters. That you will believe. That you will believe. Last miracle service, a lady had two pressing requests. One of it was to get a life partner. For her, it was becoming a serious issue. The second was to get a job. I sent the leaders the text. The very next day, after Friday like this, the next day, somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today he's here tomorrow is there the very next day this brother just came and said look i'm ready to be serious we're going to get married and that listen listen don't clap yet the that same saturday she got a text that on the next wednesday she should come for an interview that one is not just a miracle that's what we call breakthrough hallelujah pastor jakes began to speak about finances we're going to pray for that and for other issues are you ready to receive for your loved ones lift up your hands it does wonders in our midst i started seeing this since tuesday I saw a big padlock bigger than this building and it was closed and I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is hallelujah even till I came here God did not tell me anything about it and when I sat down while past, I mean while I was standing there Pastor Jakes was ministering and the Holy Spirit told me to open the doors of prison to them that are bound to open the doors of prison to them that are bound thank you jesus Now in the name of Jesus, every tied down marital destiny, every lady that is due for marriage, every brother that is due for marriage, and nothing is happening, this night, I command that door be open. Be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. 
I call forth your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Receive it now. Every marital chain over your life, I open it and I break that chain now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all those trusting God for job, you have applied and applied, you have done everything you know to do. Right now, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I decree and I declare, those of jobs scattered around this nation and beyond, I compel you in the name that is above all names, open now, open now, open now. Federal government jobs, oil company jobs, bank jobs, in the name of Jesus. I release it to your life. I release it to your life. Where you do not have helpers, may my God step in for you. May God step in for you. May God step in for you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason, right now, I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names. Let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus. Every academic issue in this place. Whether admission issue, whether graduation issue, whether whatever issue, service issue, in the name that is above all names, I pray right now for every academic darkness, let there be light now. 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 For those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish, whether it's your undergraduate, whether your masters, whether your PhD, whatever, I command the doors of, of graduation to be open for you now. Whatever course needs to be waived, we waive it now. We waive it now. We waive it now. Whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night, we compel them to let you go. And for those who have been trusting God for service, you are finished. The name will come out, your name will not be there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now. May God move in a way no man can explain. And may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward. There are families that are tied down, not as individuals, as a family. It will keep working for others. But when it gets to your turn, it stops. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, whatever has not been working in your family, we move it now in the name of Jesus. Whatever mountain, 
we challenge it. Rekata, sosote, aparekata, masote, bariata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Say kabalata kabalata Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at all. I curse it to his root in the name of Jesus. I curse it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty there are some families it doesn't matter how much they give you something will eat it up you buy a car to have accident you build a house rain will wash it right now i pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Repo Shotala on behalf of your family. I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm still going to pray that. The power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way. Because this poverty in families must be broken. People have gotten into prostitution because of it. There are people who think you are lazy. They do not know that there are forces behind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your hands. I will first pray for you, 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 before your family. Forget about your family for one minute. And pray for yourself. If you don't need it, just put down your hands. But if you are tired at where you are and you are saying, Lord, I'm not too young to be blessed, lift your hands. When I count three, shout the name of Jesus, the power of God. Man, it will fall like fire. That cause, my God, I pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted. Are you ready now? One, two, three. We curse it, we curse it, we curse it, we curse it. We curse it. Poverty dies. Now, now, now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us. Hear me. There are many of you where you are now. You have the gift. You have the skill. You just need those who need what you have. You have it. You just need somebody. Hear me. The Bible says, and the king sent for Joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon. Hallelujah. Many of you after this meeting, I tell you on that God, they will send for you. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life, wherever they are, except God is not God in this place. I pray tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, I call them into your life. Receive their ministry. Receive their ministry. Receive their ministry. Destiny help us. 
wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever you are from this night through phone calls emails supernatural coincidences connect to them connect to them connect to them hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray against the plague of death 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 lift your hands for you and your loved ones hear me the Bible says with long life it didn't say will I give you it said will I satisfy you you are supposed to be satisfied with it hallelujah and no devil should cut short your life I want to pray for you now every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of Jesus 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 hallelujah listen do you know why the psalmist prayed a very powerful prayer he said you are my glory and the lifter up of my head that means something lifted you down so that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it I pray for you whatever has put your head down so that nobody will bless you this night According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake it, shake it, my protocol, arise, hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you anything that touches your hand fails no matter what it is from tonight that you comes to an end in the name of jesus that you comes to an end in the name of jesus that you comes to an end in the name of jesus hallelujah now i want to pray against habits look at me there are people dying of all kinds of habits from all kinds of lust to all kinds of things are you getting what i'm saying this is what gives satan access into the lives of many people doesn't matter how they pray for you doesn't matter how they they deliver you you will find yourself paul said that the things that i want to do I do not find myself doing them he said and the things that i don't want to do that's what i find myself doing it he said with my spirit i serve the lord but in my body i see another law working in my members and he said oh wretched man that i am who shall deliver me from this body of death i want to pray for you take this prayer very seriously because many of us after all the prayers and the deliverances we keep opening doors i want to pray for you it takes grace it's not about struggle listen say look at me if you want to use willpower to say i want to force myself not to sleep with this sister you are joking except you are not a man that god created many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in 
you see grace is a powerful ability of the spirit it makes you extraordinary that's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness they say it's impossible did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings you see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one this baby huh? a baby that he can give birth to how many times and then still want to molest it's not normal brothers and sisters or pornography once you see free internet your body is shaking no it's not normal either the victory of jesus christ is a lie or there is something wrong we want to settle that issue tonight lift your hands in the name of jesus christ every fleshly desire that although you love god you are seeing another law whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus i curse you to your root in the name of jesus I release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men there are many of us there is nothing like favor in your life when you hear people talk about favor you just keep clapping for them but the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony somebody can come and meet you come somebody can meet you and say take me to sister a's house you will escort them they will go and bring sister a and leave you it's not so favor is the sign that the presence of god is with you and if you truly have the presence of god something a signature somebody should just like you and bless you lift your hands let me pray for you if you have not been shouting amen this is a place to shout an amen and receive i pray let the oil of favor may it mantle your life now in the name of jesus 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 favor 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 i'm going to pray that prayer one more time many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life are you hearing what i'm saying favor somebody called a man of god and told him he says sir for the rest of your life i want to be giving you allowance for food forever what kind of what kind of thing is that and this is somebody that is blessed hallelujah a lady walked up to me some months ago and said every month i will be bringing cake for you every month she brings cake for me every month there are people that send me recharge card every month as as a covenant between them and god there are people that say every month i'm showing it no matter what it is see god can bring somebody who will like you no strings attached they are just compelled by god to bless you may those kind of people find you after this night may those kind of people find you hallelujah hallelujah listen let me share with you a true story and it's the story of somebody i know this guy was trusting god for a breakthrough in his life things had gone so bad 
are you getting what i'm saying and he just went to abuja when he went to abuja he just met his friends hear me the friends told him just follow me and he followed them sheepishly only to go and find out that they were they were trying to negotiate a land how much was the land 720 million naira and the agents will get 10 percent 72 million and they, with him they became four he thought he was dreaming when they gave them they said you you followed us you have something this guy became a millionaire overnight see i don't believe in laziness but there is so much your hard work can do lift your hands one more time i pray for you where you have struggled where you are running may the favor of god pick you in the name of jesus may the favor of god pick you hallelujah 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 I want to pray one more prayer. Hallelujah. The Lord was ministering to me about something, so I was just waiting to be sure. Now I'm going to pray for you. This is the last prayer point. Hallelujah. Hear me. Many of you do not know that the biggest secret of being successful in life is to carry the fire of the Lord upon your life hallelujah the sincere truth is there are many of us who love breakthrough we love miracles but this passion for God it's not there we can run to God and come and make promises oh God I will do XYZ but except your heart is with God blessings will kill you are you getting what i'm saying there are many of us the day you see one million in your account with your eyes that day you will tell god wait till the day the devil whips you and whips everything away you will remember god again i want to pray for me i consider this to be the biggest part of this meeting and it's an impartation i want to release grace and fresh fire please stand up everybody let's honor this prayer request this is why some of you came especially some of you who are pastors or in ministry you cannot afford to do ministry in a powerless way you will struggle for nothing it's what will make you angry with people and it's what will lead you to go and start dipping your hands into ungodly things because you are looking for power there are pastors now running elter skelter going everywhere because they want power for signs and wonders and god can give it freely our goal in this place hear me i've said it again and again is not for us to have some superstar men of god trying to help some people know is to empower you and release you to go and do the works hallelujah there are some of you that have been praying and say lord will you put an anointing upon my life that will cause my generation to hear my voice there are many of you who have been praying and say lord my prayer life is dead there is even nothing there again there are some of you your word life is dead the last time you read your bible was during koinonia last week i'm going to pray for you there will be an impartation and i'm going to release spiritual gifts Paul said, I desire to come to you that I may impart upon you some spiritual gift. This thing is not about struggling. If it's there, it's there. If it's not there, it's not there. Period. I'm wearing a suit. I cannot assume I'm wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a kaftan. No matter how I pull this suit down, it's not a kaftan. Brothers and sisters, I see the way many people behave over anointing. This is not how God trained us. When you catch it, you know you have it. Paul said, such as I have. This struggle that people do, it is not there. Period. I 
I don't want you to have a struggling Christian life that will make you to start lying bringing prophecies that are not of God misleading people into things that God did not say because you are under pressure to show that you have power you lay hands on people they are not healed you force them to say they are healed brother if that healing power is there it will show you don't need to tell people I have it people are not blind they are not stupid they know when authentic power is there there are ministers that are struggling struggling arrogantly and they will not know there is an easy path in the spirit today I want to pray for you if you will believe that something will come upon your life it's not enough to see the things that happen here these things are available if you are really interested lift your hands I want to pray for you from the depth of my heart you are a pastor you are an evangelist you are an apostle you are a prophet you are a ministry or you just have a passion for God and your Christian life has died fire is coming upon you lift your hands just keep your hands lifted jesus let a fire of impartation your people need fire they need power in their life right now at the count of three there will be a release of mighty impartations after the count of three i'd like you to shout at this goodness the power of god will move in a mighty way I will release it from the depths of my heart. One, two, three. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Ba ba ba, shake a la barriera. Shake it, take it, take it, take it. Receive it. Fire altars coming alive. Shake a ta ta ta. Prayer altars coming alive by the power of the Holy Ghost. Fresh power. Fresh fire. Let it come like a mantle upon your life inside and outside. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Lift your hands as I begin to release the gifts of the Spirit, whichever it is that is for you, it will hit you where you are right now. Let the gift of wisdom, my God, upon as many. Just a Simba. Take it now. Take it now. The gift of wisdom. The word of knowledge. Receive it like fire. Take it. Take it. The gift of healing. In the name of Jesus. Let the healing anointing fall. Take it now. Take it now. Take it now. Healing fire. Healing fire. So toto kaba. Rekete nekata. Ta proto shota balarada. Let the gift of prophecy. I command prophetic fountains at the count of three be open. One, two, three. Take, 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 take. Take it right now. Prophetic fire. Prophetic fire. Shake it, take 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 it, take
dimensions of spiritual experiences. Give the tongues, receive it, interpretation of tongues, the working of miracles, the working of miracles, the mantle to move powerfully in the miraculous. You will raise wheelchairs, blind eyes will be open, deaf ears will be open. Take it now. Take it now. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. For those of you in business or all kinds of entrepreneurial things, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that anointing that was upon Joseph that made him do supernatural things, I pray right now, may that anointing upon as many who are in business, they are in entrepreneurship and are kingdom financiers. Right now, let it fall upon you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every request that you came here with, whatever made you to leave your house, and come here tonight whether it has been mentioned or not i lift up my hands and in the name that is above all names we turn that request into a testimony we turn that request into a testimony It will never be the same again. I want to give you an opportunity right now to make it right with Jesus. Keep standing inside and outside. Please everybody listen to me. No distraction. I want to give you an opportunity right now. Of all of the mighty things that God has done in this place, the greatest of all miracles, please keep standing, is the salvation of your soul. And I know there are people here who have never made it right with God. You've always wanted to. But you've not seen any reason. Some of you outside belong to this category. And right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Some of you have given your heart to the Lord. But sincerely, you have derailed from the things of God. It's time to make it right tonight. All of these miracles are a demonstration of the love of God and I do not want you to miss this opportunity I'm going to count one to five wherever you are the Holy Ghost is already speaking to you the Bible says as many as will come to him he will in no wise cast away it's time for you to begin a journey that will make your life count in this life and secure your, your eternity with Christ Therefore, wherever you are, it's my pleasure to invite you right now. Inside and outside, don't wait for anybody to come. You are the first to come. As I begin to count, please leave your seat. One, God bless you. Hurry up, rush. Come out. As though it's a matter of life and death, because it is. Two, please hurry up. Don't let anybody stop you. Let them see you. It's better for them to see you. And you make heaven three. Koinonia celebrate them. They are coming. Encourage them. As many from outside. Don't let anybody stop you. Four. Just one more count and we are done. Jesus is inviting you. An end to your struggles. You have tried. You have done your best. You have done all you know to do. It says, come unto me, all ye that are heavy laden and weary, and I will give you rest. It's called the Prince of Peace. When he comes into your life, he truly brings peace. We are waiting for you quickly. Quickly, anybody. Appreciate them, they are still coming. God bless you. God bless you. This is why God brought you here. Hallelujah. Now, those of you in front, I congratulate you for coming. 
to make this glorious decision. God bless you. Keep coming. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, all of you in front. I want to pray for you. Mean it from the depths of your heart. Reciting it as a poem does not make you born again. But from the depths of your heart. Say after me, Lord Jesus, I believe in you. I believe you died for me. I confess my sins. I ask you to help me tonight. Forgive my sins. Cleanse me with your precious blood. From today, I receive eternal life into my spirit. I'm a child of God. Forward ever. Backward never. Holy Spirit, come and live in me. Function through me. Make me an ambassador of the kingdom. I denounce sin and Satan. Whatever is not of God cannot thrive in my life again. I am a true Christian. I am a child of God. I receive grace to live the victorious Christian life in the name of Jesus Christ. Keep your hands lifted. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you. You brought these ones by your power. I thank you for what you are doing in their lives. I pray that their experience will last in the name of Jesus. Receive these ones and make them mighty men. Secure their eternal destiny in Christ. And I give you all the praise in the name of Jesus. Now quickly, I want you to follow the ushers. They will have your details and will follow you up tomorrow by 5 o'clock. Please listen. Tomorrow by 5 o'clock, we would like to see you at chapel, just close to the bookstand, chapel, ABU. Please try to come around. Hallelujah. Those who invited them, encourage them so that they can come. We pray with you, get you filled with the Holy Spirit, and we'll follow you up. May God bless you. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing. Keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again.